Hello everyone and welcome to Online Worship with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I am Reverend Meredith Manning Brown, our lead pastor, and on behalf of all of our staff, of all of the people who are helping to lead worship today, we welcome you. We are so glad that you are joining in this wonderful Sunday of worship. It is Music Celebration Sunday here with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, so it's a great time to be joining together. I want to extend a special welcome to anybody who may be joining with us for the first time in online worship. Wow, we're so excited that you have chosen today to join with us. We hope that you will make sure to fill out the contact form. It is pinned right in the comments, and we hope everyone who's joining in online worship will use that contact form. There's a place there, of course, for your contact information. There's also a place there for your prayer requests that go right to our pastors and to our prayer team. So please use that contact form. We want to be able to connect with you and share in ministry with you and come up alongside you in your life of faith. So please do use that contact form today. Now, when we gather for online worship, we make sure that we covenant and promise together to fully participate and to be a blessing. Now, what that covenant to participation means is that, well, we're going to participate in whatever it is that we're doing together in online worship. So when it's time to sing, stand up and sing. When it's time to pray, go ahead and pray whatever it is that we're doing. If it helps you light a candle to help you focus, go ahead and turn off other distractions and other devices so you can really concentrate in here and let's uh, fully participate in our worship. And then we covenant together to be a blessing. And that means that everything that we're doing together today, the way that we're in the comment section, the way we may be gathered with other people who are joining with us in this time of worship, with our entire community in the world, that everything that we do together is a blessing to everyone. Again, I am so glad that you have joined with us in this time of online worship, and I invite you now to center yourself in this special time as we are led in some music by our Wesley Handbell Choir. Hi, I'm uh, Gabe Woodruff. I am a part of the Douglas Praise Band. I'm part of the Wesley Ringers, and I'm in the group. Please receive this call to worship based on Psalm 150. Praise the Lord! Praise, Praise God, God in, in the, the sanctuary. sanctuary! Praise God in the vaults of heaven! Praise, Praise God, God in, in the, the earth and skies. skies! Sing praises to the Lord! Shout and sing praises this is to, to God. God. We have witnessed God's mighty acts. We, we have, have seen, seen the Lord's greatness. greatness. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let, Let everything, everything that, that draws, draws breath, breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Please join us in singing, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee.
trumpeter. I came to church here three years ago at Pentecost, and now I sing and play saxophone at services. Please join me in a spirit of prayer as I pray aloud our opening prayer. Eternal God, source of wisdom and understanding, your ways lead to life. We yearn to be filled with your spirit of truth, but we often embrace the folly all around us. We desire to walk in your wisdom and your power, but we often choose the path of weakness, ignoring your call to seek justice and mercy. Loving God, come to us once more that we may abide in you as you abide in us. Forgive us and help us to learn to discern good from evil and to live our lives with your wisdom and grace. Amen. Receive these words of assurance. The Lord is gracious to us and gentle. The Lord heals our souls with love. The Lord is merciful, providing spiritual food for the hungry. Rejoice in this goodness and be filled with the wisdom and grace of our mighty God. Amen. I invite you to share that same love and forgiveness and grace with one another, sharing the peace of Jesus Christ. You can say, peace be with you and respond and also with you. I encourage you to do that in the comments, to do that with whomever you're gathered with for worship, to share that peace with me. And we're going to be led in this by some folks who are a part of our Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Peace be with you. Hello, I'm Jan Sublett. I help with the Wesley Ringers handbells. Peace be with you. And also with you. I'm Richard Parrish. I sing in the choir, sing tenor. Peace be with you. And also with you. I'm Jim Bogue. I ring in the handbell choir and I sing in the chancel choir. Peace be with you. Yay, it is time for small talk. I want to encourage all of the children who are gathered in online worship to get in really close to your device, to your screen, so that you can see and hear absolutely everything that goes on with small talk. Small talk is led by Miss Laurie, our director of children and youth ministries, and by her assistant, Laud the Lamb. So come in close right now, everybody, for small talk. Hello everyone, and it is Miss Lori and Laud the Lamb and his assistant Cohen this morning. And we're talking about music today and how much we appreciate music, especially in our church. There is no better way to sing our praises to the Lord than through music. And Laud loves music, and he wanted to share some of his favorite instruments with you today. So First off, right, Lob, we have our, our drum, right? Very skilled at the drum. Mm -hmm. He loves the percussions. Um, what else do we have in there, Lod? Okay, I'll, I'll take that. There we, there we go. Oh, things that make a lot of noise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anything else? Might be great at Christmas time. Oh, do we need some help with that? Yeah, a maraca, loves it, loves it, and a tambourine, yes, thank you, thank you. Now, you may not have instruments of your own at home, and that's okay, because you know what? Laura's going to show you today how you can make your own. So, if you have a couple of paper plates, doesn't matter the size, and use beans. I have some extra macaroni laying around. So we're going to throw that in here. Just put our macaroni on there, right, Lod? Now you can even, no, stop. We're not ready yet. Not ready. No, we have to tape it up. You could staple it or tape it. I couldn't find staples. So we're going to tape ours. And then you can decorate it if you want. And make your own instrument. 
piece. Right, Vlad? Vlad is still playing over there with his instrument. Hopefully someday soon at church we can do this and make our own band. Okay, Vlad, you ready? He's made us an instrument. And you could also take a stick. You've almost got a drum. So make your own instruments at home today. And sing along your praises to God. Love you guys. Bye. Yes, you. Hi, my name is Tracy Sisk and I'm a member of the Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm also a member of the Chancellor Choir and Lydia Circle. Today's reading from the Bible is from Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 through 20. Let us open our hearts and minds to hear what God is saying through this reading. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise making the most of the time because the days are evil. 
So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless our hearing and understanding of the Bible reading we have received today. Amen. Today is Music Celebration Sunday with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Today we are giving thanks for the many musicians who give their gifts of music into the ministries of our church. Over this uh, past year, Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church has primarily worshiped online. And through this season of online worship, we have had 62 different musicians share their gifts of music in our worship experiences. When we say that again, 62 different musicians. They have learned to make videos at home, and we give thanks for all the family and friends that have become videographers during this time that have helped them with that. Our musicians have learned to collaborate together online using the acapella app. We've had a lot of adventures with that. And they have gamely practiced, masked up, social distanced, and sung and played and videoed in small groups. This has not always been easy, but it has been a powerful testimony to God's love, God's wisdom, God's persistence and creativity, and to the faithfulness and creativity of our musicians. We have had musicians of all ages, from the age of three to the age of 89. We have had amateurs and professionals, music teachers and music explorers, so many wonderful singers who have given of their time and skill each and every week to help us sing together in online worship. We have been blessed with a wide variety of instrumentalists, brass, woodwinds, percussion and strings, acoustic to electric, from tuba to ukulele, from guitar to organ, from handbells to piano, from cello to flute to kazoo. As the writer of Psalm 150 says, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. In our case, we have had everything that breathes, strums, plucks, toots, rings, taps, and yes, sings. Praise the Lord. Today we are so grateful and we want to celebrate our staff musicians who plan, rehearse, and lead our music. They have been particularly creative and persistent in figuring out ways to support expressions of music and to integrate these 62 musicians in our online worship gatherings this past year. We give thanks for Becca Philbrick, our Director of Music Ministries, who coordinates our online musical offerings and who leads our singing choirs and praise band, all with great humor and great grace. We celebrate Janet Schmidt, our organist and accompanist, who plays and sings so beautifully and supports so much of our music making with great skill and gusto. We are thankful for Jan Sublett, who directs our Wesley handbell ringers and uh, the handbell choir itself and the handbell combos, all with such faithfulness and joy. And we are thankful for Mark Schmidt, our communications director, whose skillful work with the technical aspects of all of our music and worship ministries and recording makes it possible to share in worship together, however and wherever and whenever we are gathering. Of course, we have missed getting to be together in person and in our larger singing and playing groups to share in making music together in all the ways that we do that with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. And we're excited to carefully move into producing and sharing music in person during this next phase of our pandemic recovery. But I believe that our expansion in online worship has truly opened up the spiritual practice of sharing together in music. We sing together, listen together, and are moved by the melodies and texts that we receive in new ways and through all of the technologies we have at our disposal. 
I believe we have come to a deeper understanding and an even fuller expression of our faith because of our experiences of online worship and making music together in all of these ways. We have certainly learned that the Holy Spirit works in us and through us, through our screens, our digital devices, our recordings, our collaborations, all to form and shape us as people who love and follow Jesus and to the great glory of our loving and creative God. In our Bible reading today from Ephesians that Tracy has shared with us, the Apostle Paul charges the followers of Jesus who were gathered as the church in Ephesus to live not as unwise people, but as wise people. Paul writes to them that key to living as people who are wise is being filled with the Holy Spirit as they sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord. Singing and making melody. That's you, instrumentalists, making melody. Paul continues to write that in singing and making melody, we give thanks to God at all times and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It turns out that music is key. Growth in our faith through music. We grow in faith through it. Our grief is expressed. Healing is experienced. Hope wells up and joy is unleashed in the world. Depths of wisdom, wisdom is discovered and lived out as we continue to seek ways to share in music with one another. During this pandemic, we've had to be really creative and innovative in the ways we've been making music together. We've seen people share gifts of music that they might not have otherwise. We've seen how music has shaped our experience of faith and hope as people have made and shared music from home and as we carefully begin to collaborate and share music together in person. Wisdom has definitely been experienced, shared, grown through this process of sharing in music together. We have full on experienced the gift of the Holy Spirit through the power of music and its full testimony that God is way more powerful than a pandemic. Now, it probably won't surprise you to know that music is really important to me. Singing and playing and collaborating with musicians is one of the greatest blessings of my life. Making music is a lifelong spiritual practice for me. It helps me to connect to God, to spirit, to other people, to the saving grace of Jesus Christ. It has been a tremendous joy and it has been a lifesaver to be able to witness to God's love and healing through our music making and our musicians here at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. So on this Music Celebration Sunday, I want to say thank you. Thank you to all of the musicians in our Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church family. You bless me. You bless my life. You bless my family. You bless our church family. You bless our community and our world with your gifts of music that you give so freely and so creatively and so joyfully. I am deeply thankful for you. Our church family is deeply thankful for you. Let's keep the wisdom of music and making music growing strong and helping us to grow strong in our faith and our love and our following of Jesus Christ in this world. Amen. Please join us in 10,000 Reasons. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name.
I'm Ellen Dixon and I sing in the choir and I'm several other things. One of the things I enjoy the most is the prayer committee. Thank you. My God, my Savior, Jesus Christ, thank you for creating music. Zephaniah 3.17 says, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Thank you for singing over me and all your people. Thank you for taking delight in us. Like the hymn writer wrote, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my life thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. We lift up to you this morning those who are overwhelmed. Please give peace. Those who are feeling physical pain, please give endurance. For those who are feeling confusion, please give reassurance and clarity. For those who are feeling discord, please give harmony. For those who are feeling anxious, please give calm. For those who are looking forward to the future, please allow them to see your rejoicing with them. Provide healing for our bishop as he is on medical leave. Help us tune our hearts to sing in harmony with yours. Now join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. One of the ways we express our growing wisdom and love and faith in God and Jesus Christ is through our financial giving. And I want to thank you for your faithful financial giving to the ministries of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. They make a huge difference in all the ways that we are able to reach out into our community, to help people grow in their faith, and to serve in so many powerful ways here at home and around the world. Thank you for that financial giving. I want to encourage you in that financial giving as well. You can can give using our online giving portal. The link to that is right in the comment section and you can access that off of our web page as well. You can give by setting up regular regularly recurring financial gifts through your financial institution or through ours. If you need assistance with that, just give us a call in the church office and we'll help you out. And of course, you can always send in your checks right to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Thank you for your financial gifts. We want to encourage you in connecting your life of faith into service and action in the world. We want to encourage you to continue in worship. Join with us, of course, every week with online worship. And you can also join with us for in-person worship on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. We're worshiping outside on the patio. It's a wonderful time to gather. Please join with us if you would like to. And then I want to encourage you in some of these ways to serve as well. Our next session of Vital Conversations on Race is Monday, May 24th at 6.30 p.m. On your own, watch parts one and two of the documentary, The Black Church, available on PBS, and then participate in our online small group on Monday, May 24th for discussion and learning and prayer with Vital Conversations as we're seeking to understand and dismantle systems of racism through continuing education, advocacy, and lifestyle changes. Use the links in our e-newsletter to sign up to participate or just contact us in the church office. The annual fundraising bike ride to support His Home Orphanage in Haiti is scheduled for the week of June 21st. Participants who are interested in joining the ride are encouraged to check out all the information on our e-newsletter e or contact Kathy Lambden through the church office. Riders need to register by June 7th and you can give to support the ride right now through our online giving portal. There's a special offerings drop down that you can use uh, on that or you can send in your checks to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church designated with his home orphanage. And then we want you to mark your calendars right now for this summer's Vacation Bible School Celebrating God's Creation Family Camp. It's for kids and people of all ages. It's going to be Monday, June 23rd 
1st through Thursday, June 24th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. It's going to be an outdoor, fun, in-person experience with music and story and activities. Registration is available right now on our e-newsletter, or you can contact the church office for more information or register. And of course, we want to encourage you to receive our e-newsletter. That has the most up-to-date information about all of the opportunities for ministry and service. And the best way to get that is giving us your email address. So use that contact form if you have not already done so to put your email address in there. Use that contact form for your prayer requests that go straight to our pastors and to our prayer team. And thank you for all these ways that you are faithfully giving and serving. Please join us in singing Oh for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. Thank you so much for joining in this time of online worship with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church on this special service as we have been celebrating music together. Thank you to all of our musicians. I want to encourage everyone to continue in worship. Join us for online worship. Join us for in-person worship on Sundays at 11 a.m. on the patio. Know that we love you, that we long to connect with you, to be a powerful part of your life of faith and growing in your love and service and following of Jesus. Again, uh, help, help us to do that with you by filling out that contact form that's pinned in our comment section. Please give us your email address so that we can connect with you and then use that spot there for prayer requests that go straight to our pastors and to our prayer team. As you go into your day, go knowing that the creative God of music and life loves you entirely, that the wisdom of Jesus Christ fills you just as music fills your soul, and that the Holy Spirit inspires and leads and guides you for that joy and wisdom and powerful service in this world. Go in peace to love and serve your God. Amen.